Alright, this is going to be a quick video on the L1 and A2 bayonet. Um, this bayonet was made by Small Arms Factory Lithgo in Australia. It was made from about 1958 until 1984. There aren't exact dates when these stopped, but that's about as close as you're going to get. So, starting out, this is the bayonet for the self-loading rifle. Um, it was adopted by Britain, Australia, and Canada. It was a slightly modified version of a Belgian FN FAL. So, it, it was redesignated the L1A1. And this was the bayonet that it was designed for. The bayonet differs quite a lot on this Australian, Canadian, or British version from the Belgian version originally. So I'll just give you a quick overview of it. Then I'll get into some more details. Australia began manufacturing of the L1 series rifle and bayonet in 1958 at Lithgow Small Arms Factory. This bayonet pattern was sealed, designed for the 1st of March 1957. So about a year later is when the production started. The first delivery of these to army stores is noted to be 1959. So a year between the beginning of manufacturing to the first delivery. And this is a typical setup you'll see on these. They were usually matte black. This one's glossed, but I believe this was a ceremonial used one. Um, but yeah, it'll be matte black usually with a polished blade, sometimes also a matte blade. They do vary, but this is the basic design. And here's another look at the scabbard. So it's a pretty basic scabbard. It's pretty similar to a number nine bayonet. Brass mouthpiece, round frog stud. And then this frog is just a regular SLR frog that has been painted black. You can see its original colour inside there. And it's got this D-hook added, which I believe was for ceremonial purpose. Not 100%. So that's pretty standard, but the way that this bayonet differs from its British and Canadian versions is this has no markings, which is something you'll notice straight away. British versions and Canadian, I believe, are marked on these grip scale handles. And this is an all steel bayonet. These grips are just sheet steel folded and riveted in. Also, the Australian version doesn't have a uh, indent around the press stud. It's just left as is. And another easy way to tell is with the fuller. It's very rounded on Lithgow produced bayonets, but on British and Canadian ones, it's a bit more of a square. So that's the main ways to tell the difference. Got a Bowie style blade. But yeah, that's pretty much the basics of this bayonet. It's um, it's a pretty collectible one. And they're quite expensive these days. But it's a very nice bayonet. You can get your hands on one.